using Vensim PLE, which is free for download from uh, Ventana Systems. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build a model for a population, and let's <clears throat> let's just call it a population model, but um, it could be deer population or um, any um, population, bacteria, anything, any living um, thing. So what we're going to start off with is to click on the icon that says box variable or level and bring it down here and create a box for population. Then we're going to click on the rate or flow variable and come over here and connect up for births. So every population increases because of births. Uh, one of the variables, so this is a variable icon. The variable that we're going to need, we're going to call it birth fraction. So the idea here is that a fraction of the population has uh, is response is, is uh, causing the, uh, the births. And so we're going to pass that information about the birth fraction to the to the flow here. Let me just move this. And then we're also going to want to know what the population is so that because our birth fraction is in proportion to the number of people that are already there. And that makes sense. The more people you have, the more births you would have, even though the birth fraction might be the same for two different populations. So we're going to look at the equations now to enter the data. First we're going to look at births and births needs a, an equation. So we're going to click over here for population and multiply using the asterisk. We're going to multiply by the birth fraction just by clicking on those variables there and that is the equation. For, for birth fraction now we're going to put in, and we're going to use uh, the type of uh, statistics that are often quoted would be 15 live births per thousand population. So that will be our birth fraction, 15 divided by a thousand. And for population, well, there's we're starting at some point in time, there's already a population of people, so we're going to put in. Uh, it's going to be a nice city of a hundred thousand people, not too big, not too small. So now we've entered all the we've entered the equations, we've entered the birth fraction, and we've entered the initial value for the population. And you, if you've already looked at videos prior to this, you'll recognize this as a increasing at an increasing rate. So we would be able to um, use our foresight and anticipate what the shape or pattern of the graph will be for this uh, equation. First, however, we need to check the model settings in Vensim. And um, I'm going to check the model settings here. here. So, so we're going to set the initial value, initial, initial time at zero. The final time is going to be 50, and the time step is going to be one. Initially, we're going to use it for a year, and we're going to use RK4 for the integration type. Now, in previous videos, I've said not to set the time step at one. We're going to do that here as a uh, demonstration of uh, 
how this uh, model works when you do that. All right, so we did the time settings, we put in the equations, we put in the initial values, and now we're going to run the simulation. And Benson PLE asked me if I want to overwrite the current data set, yes. And then we go and look at the graph. And we see that we have, starts at 100,000 and it goes up steadily up to the right. That would be the pattern that we would expect from in that model where the um, population would be increasing at an increasing rate. Let's go back to the model settings and try a different value for the time step. A smaller value. And we'll run it again. And it wants me, asks me, okay, I'm going to overwrite the old data set. And I'm going to click on the graph icon here. And we're going to get the graph. Doesn't look all that different from the prior one. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got a good um, good representation here of how a population changes over time when you have a uh, birth uh, fraction data that you can use. And this is the model. There's something missing though from this model. And so in our next, uh, next tutorial video, uh, we'll expand on this model.